hello there. Good to see you. Ah, hello, yes. Lovely to see you too. What's new? Well, let's see. This morning I had sherry with the Archbishop after service and chatted with a Nigerian chap I used to work with in Kano. Played tennis with the Radcliffe's. Uh, supper with Jan Leeming. How about you? How's Portland? Oh, Stephen tells me you have a new job in a marijuana factory. Well, yes, I suppose that's true. I can only imagine that den of iniquity. Some shack in the middle of a jungle, armed thugs everywhere, the stench of another executed henchman and cheap perfume for drug mules and prostitutes, cutting through the smell of endless truckloads of illegal dope. There's reggae music blaring, or loud rock, or even worse, jazz playing, while hippies try to fly and college dropouts get their junky fixes, while the drug lords convene and have endless reefer fueled orgies. Is that how it is? That's funny, Dad. <laughs> A lot of people ask me the same question about the business, especially in the UK, where cannabis is more demonized than it is here in the US. In the legitimate cannabis business, it's taken very seriously. There's absolutely no tolerance for any consumption of the product. You'll swiftly get fired, for sure. They're not messing around. We're trying to produce the best cannabis we can before big pharma or big agriculture, Duff Beer or some mega soda company gets hold of it, as they surely will any day. Much of the cannabis comes in the form of endless varieties of concentrates, from oil to shatter to distillates to rosins, hashes, crumbles, just to name a few. The work is fastidious and exacting, done by very diligent teams of sober workers in an ever-widening choice of very technical tasks. Some require an OCD mentality to carefully package and label the myriad of products. Some require patience, some require speed and muscles, some require the skill of a surgeon and use the same tools. All require that we comply exactly to the standards of excellence, safety and clearly marked warnings on childproof packaging. This actually turns out to be a lot of the work, labelling compliance, and relabeling, and relabeling. That's interesting, but isn't everyone just getting high? Actually no, that's also information perpetuated by the media. They're still spewing ancient erroneous facts about the plant. There's much more to learn. Cannabinoids and terpenes, for instance. But I'll tell you about that next time. OK, well, I must be off to bed. I'm off to the city to chat with Sir Attenborough about wheels. OK, then. Good night. Good night. Bye. Until next week. Love you.